Hey everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about how to make that team that you want to make. Uh, so when you're trying out in the fall here for whatever hockey team it is, what do you got to do to try to make that team? What's going to catch the eye of those evaluators or those scouts? Scouts? And depending on the level that you're at, there's, di there's different things that you got to do to make sure that you make that team. So let's go. First of all, if you're trying out for a team in minor hockey, the biggest, in any division actually, the biggest thing you can do is skate well. And when you're skating and people are evaluating your skating, there's a couple of things they're looking for. First of all, your speed, how fast you are going down the ice. They're also though looking at your, your quickness, so how fast can you take off, uh, but, and your agility. So turning, tight turns, crossovers. Uh, how you skate with the puck, can you keep up to the play, uh, if there's contact, can you absorb contact, can you give contact without falling down, so those are all related to skating. Uh, so depending on what level you're at, there's different things they look for, but basically the better skaters have a better advantage to make the team. So skating is number one. Second thing you need to do is they might look at your size, especially when you're older. Does that mean you have to be big to make a team? No. But if you're big or you're small, if all the skills are equal, the bigger guy is going to be able to do more. That's what she said. Especially in bantam, midget, or junior or pro hockey. So the, the smaller guy, he could be faster, he could do more, he might have more skills. All those things weigh in, but if you've got some size, you might be able to get to places that a small guy wouldn't be able to get to. So they're going to look at skating, size, and physicality. Three, puck handling. Can you stick handle with the puck? What happens when you're in close quarters uh, and you're in the, in the corner and you have to do a tight turn? Can you keep that puck in the right spot? Can you pass it tape to tape? Can you receive a pass or does it jump off your stick and you got to slow down your game to get that puck? So puck handling is very important and that's the third thing they're going to be looking for. Number four, hockey sense or hockey IQ depending on who you're talking to. Uh, it's, they're going to be looking at your decisions on the ice and how fast you can make those decisions and that can be not just offensively but it can be defensively too depending on the coach. Uh, obviously defensive, defense wins championships. A lot of times in tryouts uh, some scouts or some coaches, if they are inexperienced, they're going to only focus on offensive. So they're gonna, the guy that scores goals is definitely going to jump out. You have to score goals to win. But if that player is never in the right spot in their own end, that's going to that, they're gonna, not going to want that guy. Likewise, if you're really good defensively, but you never score, that might be a concern too. So you really have to balance both. And you have to be a player that that coach wants to put in any situation. And number five is attitude. And attitude's a tough one. How do you quantify somebody that has a good attitude? And a lot of times it's really hard for scouts to say, well, that guy's got a good attitude. But what will stand out is if you have a bad attitude. Those things stand out and they're, they just glare out at people. It's science. So if you miss a shot or you miss a play or something bad happens, you hang your head or you quit on a play, uh, throw a tantrum, take a bad penalty, those things will jump out at scouts and coaches every day. So don't do that stuff. Focus on being positive. And if something goes wrong, work your butt off to get back in the play. If you get leveled, take a number, try to hit that guy back cleanly and those are the things you have to do um, but attitude is important if you're working hard cheering on your teammates uh, looking out for guys distributing the puck equally to everyone those are things that are going to show a really good attitude and a good somebody that they're going to want on your team so uh, an attitude is is very important and sometimes very hard to judge if you've got a good attitude or a bad one but bad just stands out like nothing so if you want to make a team no pouting, make sure you're not hanging your head and 
you don't want to throw any tantrums, take bad penalties. Okay, that's very important. So those are the five things that are really important. But I think as a parent or a player, it's important to realize how they're actually, how are these scouts and these teams picking their teams. And it does depend on the team. A lot of times in minor hockey, you might have 100 or 200 kids, and they have to tier those teams. Uh, so not only are they looking at these skills, but they're also ranking. So they're ranking the players. They know how many players are going to be on this team and this team, and they're ranking those players. Uh, so that they can put them on the right teams. If you're on a double A AA or triple A team, they're probably ranking as well, but they might have some knowledge about you as a player previously. Um, and they might be, they might know certain kids that they think are going to make the team and then a certain group that they're going to be looking really closely at their skills and those five things that we were talking about. So, and as you get up into pro, especially junior and pro, those scouts they're filling out game reports. Their, you know, their whole organization has uh, information on all these players. Uh, so, as you get higher up in the higher levels, they really do their homework, and they're not just looking at a few games or at a camp. They're looking at different things all through the times, taking into account stats, uh, how you've developed over the last few years, uh, depending on your age, how you've grown. Uh, so, there's lots of things that they take into account. And it could be for a draft, for the information for a draft, or it could be to see if they should sign you, or if it's going to be whether you should play on their team or a minor league team. So there's lots of things that have to take into account, but generally the higher levels that you are, the more those scouts have looked into things and the better job they're going to do. And the lower levels, it's going to be a little bit depending on the situation, so you really have to try to get their attention by doing things they're going to separate you from other players so good luck in your camps don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video